Hello and a warm welcome to day five of the 12 days of Christmas writing and uh, today's um, writing task for you to do as a writer is to take your notebook and get out and about into the world with it. So eavesdrop on people's conversations, uh, look for interesting characters, uh, interesting settings, notice the world around you, give yourself an hour if you can of just uh, making notes that might lend themselves to future writing uh, projects but it's a great habit to get into as a, as a writer so that's your little task for today um, and uh, also here on YouTube I'd just like to tell you about this uh, some I, I've mentioned the spring summer and autumn 12 day writing courses that I've already uh, provided here on YouTube but there's also three longer courses that are 30 days each so so far I've just finished recording write your memory in 30 days and that was some people took part in that throughout November there is also write a novella in 30 days and write a poetry pamphlet in 30 days so they're all here on my youtube channel absolutely free they'll be here forever so you can access them anytime you like it might be that you could follow on with one of them once you've finished these 12 days of Christmas writing it might be a new year's resolution for you to embark on a on a slightly longer writing project for yourself. Um, so today I'd like to give you another Christmas related writing prompt and keep them coming into the Facebook group. Remember you can be brave and hit the go live button and we can actually hear you uh, reading out your work. It's very very empowering uh, as a writer to actually read your work to an audience. Very very nerve wracking but you'll be proud of yourself once you've done it I promise. Okay so the day five writing prompt. I'd like you to explore the difference in celebrating Christmas as a child and then as an adult. Uh, so for the poets out there amongst you, uh, a sonnet would be really good for this because um, a sonnet is often arranged in two halves. So the first eight lines usually deal with one aspect of uh, a situation or experience and then the last six lines uh, deal with its, its polar opposite. So you could have the first eight lines um, dealing with childhood Christmas and the second and six lines dealing with adult Christmas. Um, so it might be that a bit more research on writing a sonnet is necessary. So 14 lines, 10 syllables on each line. You can write in rhyming couplets or there are various other um, uh, requirements that you can respond to when writing a sonnet. But it's just a good way of exploring two sides of a, of a situation. Or you can, uh, you can write in prose, you can do a, a reflective piece on Christmas as a child and then how it's changed for you as an adult. But just exploring that, that, that opposition and that, and that difference and that change. So as always, post into the Facebook group. I look forward to uh, reading more of your responses. It's, it's wonderful to, to read the diversity of, of response. Um, and just that insight into all of you as well it, it's great so yeah keep it all coming keep posting to the comments below the video let me know how you're getting on and if you particularly enjoy a, a prompt then do hit the like button so I know and I'll see you tomorrow for day six bye for now